the best and brightest local high school teams compete in a tournament of knowledge for a trip to Europe on this year's hottest game show, Bay Area Quiz Kids. Brought to you by AT&T, Oracle, the San Mateo Credit Union, Sam Trans, and Fisher Investments. And now, the best host on the West Coast, Brad Friedman. Hello, everybody. Welcome to Quiz Kids. We are in the middle of our second round of play, and if you've been watching the last few weeks, you've seen Bentley, Homestead, and Menlo Atherton High Schools become part of our Elite Eight, which will go into our semifinal rounds or our semi-semifinal rounds. But we'll see which team today will join that illustrious trio. Will it be the Archbishop Reardon Crusaders? <laughs> or will it be the Camp Belindo High School Cougars? <laughs> Let's play, shall we? We begin with the collaboration round. <laughs> gentlemen in stripes and gentlemen in not stripes. Welcome to Quiz Kids. In this round, you'll be playing as a team, and you guys are dressed like a team, which is so cool. Uh, I'll ask a series of 10-point questions, and I'll give your team a few seconds to collaborate. And then I'll ask your Captain Ian or Yishi to give me the right answer. Give it to me and you'll score the points. Otherwise, the other team gets to collaborate and possibly steal those points away. Back and forth, I will ask questions until the buzzer signals the end of the first round, okay? Good luck to both teams. Archbishop Reardon, you get the first question. The annual pilgrimage to this site on George Washington's birthday is the oldest scouting event in the United States. More than 10,000 American soldiers arrived there in December 1777, but 2,000 of them died before spring from disease, cold, or lack of basic necessities. Name this location near Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. Jamestown Colony. Yes. Jamestown Colony. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal. Valley Forge. Valley Forge, that's right. Yes. Here's your first question, Cougars. Holding dual citizenship, he could have played for Algeria, but the coach thought that he was too slow. Ironic, as he went on to win FIFA World Player of the Year three times. His taking exception to an insult got him kicked out of the last game where he represented his country. Identify this French soccer player nicknamed Zizou. Zinedine Zidane. That is correct. <laughs> Ten points. Believed to have originated on its native island, the American Kennel Club says that its purebreds must be either black, yellow, or chocolate colored. Identify this popular breed of dog named for a Canadian province, named so by the Earl of Malmesbury to distinguish it from the Newfoundland dog. The Labrador? That's right, the Labrador Retriever. In the second century CE, it was mentioned in a poem by the physician to the, Roma, by the, physician to the Roman Emperor Caracalla as an incantation to be used against disease and prescribed that the sufferer wear a triangle-shaped amulet around their neck with this phrase on it. Give this 11-letter word that is used today by cheesy magicians to make something appear or disappear. Abra, abracadabra. That is right. <laughs> It was coined by William James in his Principles of Psychology, and its characteristic interior monologues appear in Virginia Woolf's To the Lighthouse. Name this narrative device that when reading a novel, seems like you're hearing someone talk about whatever they're thinking about. No clue. Don't know. You can answer. S soliloquy? Stream of consciousness. The 1926 murder convi conviction of its then leader, David Stevenson, led to its decline, though it built up again in the civil rights era. Name this organization that generated part of its revenue by selling official uniforms, though members probably provided their own white sheets. Ku Klux Klan. That is correct. <laughs> If this show, Quiz Kids, if our staff of six writers can produce 250 questions in a five-day week, how many more questions will there be if I make them work the weekend, too? Eighty-five. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal. How many more? A hundred. That's right, a hundred. <laughs> Next question. This term, when applied to financial markets, hypothesizes that prices reflect all available information. 
When applied to auto fuel, it usually concerns how many miles per gallon one may get from their car. In physics, what term describes the ratio of work performed to the input energy needed to do the work? Efficiency. You got it for 10 points. And that is the end of the round. Let's look at the score. 10 for Reardon, 60 points for Capolindo. We will come back and meet our team players after these messages. With Valentine's Day around the corner, you should consider a new romantic rendezvous. Come to Quiz Kids. You can sit in a charming corner and I will s soothe you with my sultry tones. All you have to do is call us at 650-637-1936, bring a dozen roses, and an afternoon of delight is yours. Welcome, Reardon Crusaders, Ian Maley. Mm -hmm. When we last spoke, you were making a video of your grandfather. How is that going? How's that proceeding? Well, I'm almost done. It's about maybe 75% done, and it's really going pretty good. He's enjoying it. We have a lot of fun doing it. How long do you think it's going to last? Um, probably about an hour. Wow. And yeah. what would you like to do with it? I mean, obviously, the family will get a great deal of pleasure yeah. out of that for years to come. Do you want to bring it to Sundance? That would be awesome, but oh. I don't know. Okay. Well, good luck with you. We can't wait to hear how it, how it finishes up. Greg Schwartz. Last time we talked to you, you were very excited because um, Reardon was going to do the musical Big and you were going to audition. You hoped to get any part. It didn't matter what, as long as it was the lead. <laughs> and what happened? I got it. You got the lead. You got Josh Baskin. Congratulations. <laughs> so when does the show perform? It's at the end of March, beginning of April. So two weekends? And Reardon's known for good shows, so we're excited for you. Good luck and break a leg in that show. Thank you. Ben Gid, you are getting excited and geared up for a trip to Japan that you're taking with your family this summer. Yes. And you want to come up with some ideas for good things to do. Yes, like for example, maybe I might go to a sumo wrestling match to see how that is, go to Kyoto, check out Tokyo. Basically, you try this. Yeah, Tokyo, that's there, right. You can check that one out. You guys are only going to be there for 10 days. So you're going to have to pile it all in very quickly. But uh, I hear the countryside is gorgeous in Japan. So. Oh, yes. And good food. Not just what we think of as Japanese food, but really good special food. So enjoy yourself. Give a big hand to your coach, John Albach. We welcome back the Camp Linda Cougars, Yishi Zuo, our captain, and you wanted to tell us you've been carrying a good luck charm with you when you come to Quiz Kids. Yes, I have it right here. It's a billion dollar bill. We, I first got it when we were um, watching the first airing of our victory over the school, uh, well, the school that we played last time and uh -huh. when it was on TV after it was over. Because they only had a million dollar bill. <laughs> yeah. yeah. They, they gave it, uh, a friend gave it to me, and I've been carrying it around in my pocket ever since, so I hope it'll bring me luck. I hope it brings you luck, and if it's worth anything, I hope you give it to me. Oh. Conrad Bassett Bouchard, last time we talked to you, we talked about your intense love and participation in professional uh, Scrabble. That's correct. And I said, what's your favorite word? And you went, Basically. <laughs> and now you remember. So you asked me to ask, what is your favorite word? The, my favorite word that I played is a uh, Sabkazi. It's a government owned Russian farm. Yes. And it's yes, it's part of everyone's vocabulary. Oh, of course, of course. <laughs> and how many points did it earn you when you played it? 114 points. That's very good. I'll have to remember that when I want to use the word for you. Yeah. Or if I ever want to go visit a charming government-owned farm yeah. in Russia. You miss all your friends. Mark Randstrom, yes. you're excited because Mythbusters, the TV show on the Discovery Network, came to Camp Linda. When did they come? Uh, they came over Thanksgiving break, uh -huh. uh, like the Monday and Tuesday before Thanksgiving. And what were some of the things they did while they were on the show? Uh, well, campus? they had a uh, crane that they used to submerge a car in the uh, diving pool of Camp Lindo wow. uh, several times. <laughs> wow. Yeah, and then cool. who went swimming in there after? Uh, Nobody, I guess. Yeah, I don't know. That's why it was over Thanksgiving break. We had the yeah. whole week off. I had to clean up the pool. But you guys had a barbecue, and were they nice? Yeah, they were very nice. Good. We yeah. uh, offered them hamburgers and hot dogs, and they ate some on camera. Wow, they ate on camera for you. Yeah. That's amazing. Well, I'm glad you had a good time. Let's give a big hand to your coaches, Allison Bouchard and Conrad Bassett. Yeah. Hmm. Allison Bouchard and Conrad Bassett. Interesting. I'd like you to give a big hand to our mighty judge, Mr. Frank Saboni. We will be right back with the lightning round. Don't go away.
Let's play the lightning round. <laughs> Gentlemen, the points are worth 10. This time, you buzz in. If the first person to buzz in gives me the right answer to the question, they'll score the points for their team. If not, the other team will be allowed to collaborate and possibly steal those points. Don't forget, in terms of strategy, if you buzz in ahead of time and do not hear the whole question and do not give me the right answer, the other team will get to hear the whole question before they have to answer. So, it is 60 to 10. Good luck to both teams. Here is the first question. Some oranges and grapes fit into this category based on its botanical definition of any fruit that contains its own seeds. Name this type of plant that also includes huckle, goose, boysen, yes, homaric. Berry. That's right. Claudio Monteverde and Jacques Offenbach both wrote operettas about what mythical figure who travels in the underworld to rescue Eurydice? Conrad. Orpheus. That's right. In 2006, a government lawyer that sent previous trial material to prospective witnesses may have eliminated the possibility of the death penalty for what convicted terrorist, the so-called 20th hijacker, and the only one to survive the September 11th attacks? That was... I'll... Go ahead, Yishi. Masali? That is right. At the end of the 15th century, the Dom Dominican fanatic Savonarola controlled which Italian city that had earlier been ruled by the Medici family? Yes, Mark. Uh, Florence. Correct. He serves a dark and avengeful god and meets his end at the hands of Tobias just after he discovers that he has accidentally killed Lucy, the love of his life. Give the first and last name of this mass murderer and Broadway title character whose ballad refers to him as the demon barber of Fleet Street. Ian. Sweeney Todd. That's right. Greg, you should play that part someday. He was recently allowed parole in Michigan and is still serving time for, yes, Yishi. Dr. Kevorkian. Correct. Harold V, Olaf V, and Haakon VII have been the kings for the last 100 years of what European country? Yishi. Uh, Sweden. No, I'm sorry. You can steal, gentlemen. Austria. No, it's uh, Norway. Intermediate, Mafic, and Felsic are its main classifications by silica content. Name this combination of gases, liquids, crystals, and rock fragments that forms the basis of igneous rocks. Yes, Mark. Lava. No, I'm sorry. You can steal, gentlemen. So no. You were close. The word we're looking for is magma. John Steinbeck took the title of his work of Mice and Men from the 1785 poem To a Mouse by what Scottish author of the poem Auld Lang Syne? Yishi. Keating. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. You can steal. We're looking for Robbie Burns, Robert Burns. Runaway was the first show canceled from this network that also recently renewed Reba McIntyre's show and also airs Girl Gilmore Girls. Yes, Yishi. CW. Correct. The term for them originated in Britain to refer to wearing galoshes unbuckled, and it is likely that they were inspired by the Gibson girls. Give the word used in the 1920s for a young... Yes, Yishi. Flippers. Say again? Flippers. No, I'm sorry, that's incorrect. Yes. Flappers. That's right, flappers. His TV series features the same characters as his books, including Francine, Mary Alice, nicknamed Muffy, Binky, Buster, Yes, Mark. Arthur. Correct. When baby Hirohito, he's, I'm sorry, when baby Hisahito, born in 2006, became the first male heir to the Japanese throne, born in more than 40 years, many Japanese citizens yelled, what six-letter word in celebration that, yes, Ian. Banzai. That's right. Give that to Ben so he can have some joyful moments when he goes on his trip. Banzai. What three names were shared by the U.S. Senator of the early 1900s that led the charge against the League of Nations and by Richard Nixon's 1960 vice presidential running mate? Yes, Yishi. Uh, Johnson? No. Nope. You can steal. Johnson was so democratic, but that's okay. Uh, Henry Cabot Lodge. He began his Nashville career as lead singer for a group called The Ranch, but is more famous now for his solo work and for his new wife. Identify this country singer who in 2006 married fellow Australian Nicole Kidman. Yeah, Yishi. Tim McGraw. No, I'm sorry. I bet Faith Hill would be mad about that one. <laughs> Got any idea, you guys? 
Nicole Kidman married Keith Urban. His nicknames include Long Rifle and Hawkeye, and his gun is named Killdeer. Give the actual first and last name of this character in James Fenimore Cooper's Leatherstocking Tales. Natty Bumpo. I win a bet on that question. <laughs> it is the densest layer of the atmosphere and also contains about 75% of its mass. From the Greek word for turning or mixing, name the lowest layer of the Earth's atmosphere where our Earth, where our weather, yes, Mark. Lithosphere? No, I'm sorry. Where our weather occurs and where temperature decreases with altitude. Yes. The stratosphere? No, we're looking for the troposphere. Federal agents in Michigan looked for his body again in 2006. Yeah, Mark. Jimmy Hoffa. Correct. Who else's body have we been looking for for all this time? <laughs> he is first introduced in chapter four, titled Rabbit Sends in a Little Bill. And in the following chapter, asked the main character to recite the poem, You Are Old, Father William. What blue character from Alice in Wonderland sits on a mushroom and smokes a yep -ed. Caterpillar? That's right. Ugh. Named for the man who first sold plant seeds in small envelopes, what golf competition now pits U.S. male professionals against their, se their European Yes Conrad? The Ryder Cup. That's correct. That's the end of the round. Let's look at the score. Hold on. 50 over here, 150 for Campolindo. We will return with the final round. Don't go away. Let's play the extreme lightning round. Point values are doubled, play stays the same, but they are doubled, you can catch up. Good luck, gentlemen. First question, author Daniel Handler is best known as Mark. Lemony Snicket. That's correct. Which US state capital is located at the confluence of the American River and the river that shares its name? Yes, Ben. Mississippi? No, I'm sorry. Sacramento. Yeah. <laughs> the Bishop of Digne, Monsieur Gilles Normand, Marius Paul Merci, and Fantine are among the characters in what? Yes, Ishi. Phantom of the Opera. No, I'm sorry. What Victor Hugo novel about Jean Valjean? Oh, uh, Les Miserables. That's right. Another part that you might want to play someday. <laughs> Television's Old Time Gospel Hour, Virginia's Liberty University, and the Moral Majority Lobbying Group were all begun by what Southern Baptist minister? Yishi. Bawa. That's right. It boasts the world's first operational maglev train, which runs from its subway station on Longyang Road to its Pudong Airport. Yes, Greg. Japan? No, I'm sorry. Identify this most populous city in China. You don't have to do that, but you can tell me. Shang Shang Shanghai. That's right. His descendant, um, his descendant Slam appeared in Lunatics Unleashed. He taught his student Dizzy at Acme University. The ravenous appetite of what Looney Tunes character? Yes, Mark. Taz? Yeah. Its victim met his end because of his vulture eye. Name this classic short story that ends. Yes, Mark. The Telltale Heart? Correct. The early use of one was recorded in an epic poem about the First Punic War, and one was played when Robert the Bruce and his troops marched to Bannockburn. What is this musical instrument usually associated with Scotland? Mark. Magpipe? <coughs> you are correct. Unlike diamond, it is a good conduct. Oh, thank you. Unlike diamond, it is. I need a resetter to stand here and just do that for me. I'm so busy. Unlike diamond, it is a good conductor of electricity, a good lubricant, and very soft. Name this stable form of carbon, commonly called lead. Yes, Mark. Graphite. Correct. The unique structure of the blood vessels here have been used for biometric identification. What thin layer of neural cells located at the back of the eyeball contains photoreceptor Yes, Yishi. Retina. Correct. Arongzeb was the successor to what Mughal emperor who built the Taj Mahal to honor his wife? Shah Jahan. Which composer's works include the opera The Queen of Spades, the Patetique Symphony, and the ballet The Nutcracker? Peter Ilyich Tchaikovsky. Refusing to accept the return of Voldemort, he seeks to defame Dumbledore. Also responsible for having Hagrid sent to Azkaban, which care. Yes, Mark. Uh, Malfoy. 
No, I'm sorry. Which character from the Harry Potter series is sacked as Minister of Magic in the first chapter of the most recent Harry Potter novel? Lucius Malfoy? No, Cornelius Fudge. Little green bowler hat. The last one's coming out real soon. It adds, a it adds a third dimension to many artworks by showing a huge con... Yes, Greg. Perspective. No, I'm sorry. By adding a huge contrast between light and dark. Name this artistic technique from the Italian for light and dark. We don't know. Chiaroscuro. The name by which he is best known means universal ruler, a title he received in 1206 after uniting the divided tribes of his homeland. Name this founder of the Mongol Empire. Yes, Conrad. Genghis Khan. Correct. Jody Williams won a Nobel Peace Prize for her work in creating a treaty to ban what explosive devices? Yes, Ian. Landmines. Right. What concept, still used today, was begun at high noon on November 18, 1883, by the U.S. Naval Observatory to allow train schedules to be based on the part of the country where a train was, yes, Yishi? Uh, time zones. Correct. And that is the end of the game. 90 over here with 370. Campolino wins the game. Thank you, gentlemen, for coming to play. Have a great year. You have entered our Elite Eight, and we will see you in a few weeks playing another team in our quarterfinals. You come back every week and watch us on Quiz Kids. We'll see you later. Bye-bye. The following underwriters helped to make this program possible. AT&T, Oracle, the San Mateo Credit Union, Sam Trans, and Fisher Investments. Tournament champions will win an all-expense paid trip to Europe, courtesy of ACIS. Additional support provided by these Bay Area newspapers. The Burlingame Scottish Rite of Freemasonry, the Knights Templar, and National Academic Quiz Tournaments.